So I've had a lot of comments about testing electrical components. Um, we've got coils, we've got injectors, and we can do this test while the engine's running. So if you've got a misfire or something like that, um, you've, you obviously check your spark plugs, you want to just check your coil. Um, you don't seem to have a spark there. We can, we can check the switching of the coil on the car using a multimeter. What I'm using today is this, it's the V-Diag V200 Pro. Um, it's a circuit probe, power probe as well, so it does lots of things. It's a cracking bit of kit. I really like the audible beep on it. It gives you, I don't know if you can hear that, is it picking that up? A little audible tone. So what I'm connected to at the minute is the injector. So down the back, you've got two wires going into the injector. Let me just show you that. So we've got two wires going into the injector one on that side, one on that side, and I've got my little probe there. Got my little pin probe. If we pop it into either side, it doesn't matter, we just take it down the side of the rubber sheath there. We pop it in. Let's go to the wiring diagram and see what we should be finding. On here you've got fuel injector number two, which is the one we're working on. You've got the switching wire, which is the black wire there at the top running to the ECU. And the one we're gonna follow is the purple wire, which is marked P, and that's gonna go all the way back to the fuse and we can follow that on the diagram as well. It goes through the main relay there, the ignition relay, across the little joint up there to the fuse, which is battery voltage. And straight away we get in on here, we've got voltage, maximum voltage 13.2. If I just probe it into that side, which is the switching side, and we can show you that again on the wiring diagram, which goes to the ECU. Here we go, look. It's actually showing us we've got a switching going on. So we know that the wiring, battery voltage, and a switching circuit. If that was misfiring and that was happening, we'd know that we've got an issue there. So just a quick recap on this injector then. We've got the P, which is battery voltage, which then runs up to the fuse in the fuse box. I'll show you an image of that. And then the B wire goes to the ECU for your switching. We can do the same with the coils. So on the coil we've got battery voltage, we've got an earth and we've got a switching. So we can check all of those using the, uh, using the tool again. I'll just bring it in closer so you can see it. I just changed my settings. If you just change the settings I'm going to go to on the voltage there, DC volts. And like I say, if we probe it into the red wire, there we go, it comes up with a nice audible beep. It's gone red, we've got battery voltage, engine's running 14.2. If I go to the earth side, green straight away, that shows us we've got continuity to ground, to the negative of the battery. And if we go to the middle, that's the switching one. And can you hear that? That's switching, it's clicking. We can confirm all of that by looking at the wiring diagram. You can see there we've got an earth or a ground GND, which runs down between all of the coils. We've got the positive feed and we've got the ECU switching wire. It's switching so fast that the machine is just picking up not every single one of them. But if I flick it over to Hertz, if I go across one to Hertz there and then reconnect it. There you go. It's actually giving us a frequency now, a lot of switching frequency. And a, an audio display as well, audio and visual display as well. So from that we know we've got battery voltage, earth and a switch. We know that all the wiring there is okay and it would be the coil that was at fault. Another thing that's really great about this particular unit, this little V200, we can use standard multimeter connectors into the end of it, which gives us the opportunity to use these little probes, which you, know, you can get into the back of the connectors. 
it comes with its power probe. So you shove that in the end of there, as it becomes a power probe. If we just put it onto the, the voltage and we press down on that one, that one gives us continuity to earth. And if we press it up, it gives us battery voltage at the tip. So we can power up devices on the car. If you wanted to check if the electric fan was working, we can literally just power that straight up with the, uh, with the device. It's got a built-in fuse that will reconnect itself. If it gets overloaded, it'll just cut off and then reconnect. For instance, down here we've got, well, it's got the handy LED lights on the back as well. We've got the electric fan. So if I just put a little probe into the, the blue wire of that, which is its positive wire, the earth should already be connected and I just press the power, I touch it and press the power on. Electric fan kicks in, can you hear that? You can see everything blowing in there. So we actually can power up devices while it's connected to the car. And if I pop that into the, the black side of the wire, we can check the earth as well. So we can put that in there and just touch that And you go, see how the, the screen's gone green and it's showing a zero. We can also do an ohms test on it as well. We can go to ground with that. So we can just touch that on there and it gives us an audible beep and tells us we've got zero ohms. So that's a perfect, a perfect ground. So <coughs> in two seconds, we've literally just checked the fan. We know that the fan unit is okay. If you've got overheating problems and the fan's not working with this tool, literally click, click, it's done, we've checked the fan, we know that it's okay, and if there was an issue, then it's with something else. Um, we know we've got ground, so it's gonna be on the positive side, so it could be the fan relay, or it could be the fuse, uh, it, it, if you've got a problem. So speaking of fuses, in the fuse box here, we've got, we've got a number of fuses. We can easily check those as well. If we just go around to voltage, DC volts, and we just touch it on those fuses, it gives us straight away a nice red display and a little audible beep telling you that those fuses are absolutely fine. So we can do each one really quickly because you know, there could be a pain to check fuses, but this is so quick, just tap, 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 and away you go. Touch on there, that one's good. It's good that side, it's good that side, it's good that side, it's good that side. We'll see how quick we can check these fuses out. Really handy for that. The other thing we can easily check is your bulbs. If you've got a bulb that's not working, um, we can just get the probe. I can pop that out the end. I've put my, my pincer in it there. So I've got my little, I've got my little probe there. We're on voltage. I just pop the indicator on. So when we're probing into connectors, we really want to be sure that we don't pierce through the wires wherever possible. If we pierce through a wire with the probe, the chances are you're gonna get water ingress into the wire and it will corrode back down and cause you a problem later on in the car's life. But what you've got behind these plugs is a little rubber. There's a little rubber behind there that we can actually use these probes to go down the side of rubber sheath that's in there like that you'll get your test without damaging the wire or the seals and you can see as it flashes we're flashing red as we're getting power coming into the unit. So I've got my probe there, we can pop that into the top wire and it's gone green which is saying we've got a decent earth on it and then if I pop it in the bottom one we've got a decent earth as well which is saying that the earth is going through the bulb We've got continuity through the bulb. 
So we haven't even got to power it up. We know just by probing both sides, we know that earth feed is going through the bulb and it's a good bulb. Also what we can do, we can just put the power probe in on the positive side and actually press our power button and we can make the bulb connect itself look. So we can just power that up by pressing our power probe button there. So this is checking out the connector and the earth all in one hit. Clever stuff. If you've got issues with your start motor, you're turning the key, nothing's happening. A really simple test, we just check the battery voltage. 14 volts coming in there, the fans just kicked in, not by, that was coincidence. Like I said, if you've got trouble starting your car, we can do a simple check. We check the battery voltage there, that's good. We check that, we've got the green earth, is all good. We can check the engine earth of the car just by touching a piece of metal on the car. Straight away, look, green, zero. We've got decent continuity. We know the earth strap is okay, um, which then leads us straight down to the starter motor. So we will be checking our feed at the starter and seeing if we've got switching. Now, the other thing this kit can do for you, this is the V200 Pro. Um, we use this thing here, it's, a, it's called a brake finder. So if you've ever tried to find a broken wire in a loom, it can be a real pain. If it goes from front to the back of the car, under the carpets, it can be really, really tricky. Um, but what this does, we've got this wire here. It's got a break in the middle. Let's just say this is in the engine loom. Um, how the heck are we going to find that? With this bit of kit, all you do is just connect the red probe to one end of the, of the wire that you're testing. You just click it onto number two on your power button there. That puts a signal down this wire and we can then track it with this little bit of kit. So we start off down that end. You can hear how loud that is. And as we get to the brake, it goes quiet. See the difference in the tone. You know exactly where that brake is. What a handy bit of kit that is. Really, really good. Especially if you've got big truck trailers and you're working on wiring looms on the back, trailer wiring. If you've got a brake where it's rubbed or caught on the frame underneath, they're really tricky to find. That will be a godsend. What a cracking bit of kit. So this v dyer kit I've been using, it comes in a nice plastic case there. You get uh, a couple of adapters. You get a cigarette lighter socket so you can power it through that rather than connecting to the battery. You get a 20 foot long um, leader wire to extend it if you need to, which lets you go all around the car. Um, and, yeah, and the actual tools themselves, the, uh, the, the tester and the one for the brake in the wire tester. Um, yeah, it's quite a comprehensive bit of kit. So there we have it. We've done some diagnostic testing on here. I've showed you how to test your coil packs. I've showed you how to check for ingest, injector switching. Um, we've done battery voltage and fuse checking and stuff like that. Really, really handy tool. Power probe, you can power up motors, lights. It's great for checking air to continuity. A really good bit of kit. Um, and if you're doing like automotive electrical testing, you do need some sort of multimeter. Um, and I say, that is a, that's a good bit of kit to be getting on with. It is good. The power probe is a handy thing to have in your toolbox. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, uh, drop me a little thumbs up, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in another video. Thanks for watching. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up, today's gonna be a good day.